urgent and what's important. And urgency is how much pressure is on you to do it now. And that can be internal pressure you feel. That can be external pressure someone is giving you. But um, that pressure is not the same as what's truly important. And so on this version, you if you Google urgent versus important, you'll see thousands of different representations of this same diagram. I picked this one because I liked how it broke things out. And its point is you want to work on the stuff in green at the top that's most important and not as much on urgency unless it's also important. So the obvious quadrant everyone gets right is if something is truly important and it's urgent, uh, they work on it. So in this case, for example, it talks about uh, bullets on your resume. Something that's going to become an accomplishment you put on your resume, whether it's your college degree uh, or uh, hitting your sales quote at your job or whatever. Those are what they call deep work. You obviously do those things. Um, then there's the thing that the things that aren't as urgent, but are more important. And what happens is most people fail. And instead of going uh, to the left on this diagram um, to things that are important, but less urgent, they get sucked into going down into what it calls procrastination and says you should limit. Um, and those things are all fun, by the way. Uh, taking breaks is fun, goofing off, wasting time, passing time, surfing the internet. Those are all fun. Um, sorry, I have this wrong. It's my mistake. Uh, this diagram flipped least urgent and most urgent. Most urgent is on the left. You want to avoid the stuff in the bottom right, but most people get sucked down from most important, most urgent. They get sucked down into quick fix or delegate the corner that is highly urgent but not that important uh, will this be later to be able to be viewed yes it will be both available as a vod um, and uh, both here and on our youtube channel and it will also be available uh, it's on my blog right now you can find the diagram there you can read a few things i said about it so it's totally available in lots of places um okay so People get sucked from the upper left corner, the most important, most urgent, down into the least important, most urgent. And this is what you really want to avoid. And it says here the ways to avoid them are fix it quickly or delegate. And delegate can also mean don't do it. So these are interruptions, distractions, pointless meetings. Now, I wish I could do a show of hands easily. If I were, if I were teaching in a, in a classroom, I would absolutely have people raise hands about how many people feel a lot of their meetings are uh, pointless. Similarly, email. And if you prefer here, you can talk about Slack. This is older. You can talk about Slack. You can talk about texts. You can talk about chat messages. You can talk about all of this. Uh, thank you, Zelkova204. Clearly, you're clapping about uh, how many pointless meetings you're in. Um, and I see a lot of them, even at Amazon, where theoretically I control most of my meeting schedule. We still have pointless meetings some of the time. Hey, Hephaestus. Hephaestus runs his own company, and he has pointless meetings, apparently. So that tells you right there, they're hard to avoid. I will talk for a minute about email. One of the places where I said I get sucked into this is I'm what in gaming they call a completionist. I like to complete every quest. I like to explore every corner of the map. I like to do every possible alternative path through a game. Well, what that means when it comes to corporate work is in email, I get sucked into um, trying to get to inbox zero. Uh, now, I have finally given up on that, but only because of total failure. Uh, one of my kids got a hold of my phone recently, and I'll pull it up because it's fun. Um, my inbox right now says I have 34,784 unread messages. Um, most of those are on personal accounts. Uh, but there are hundreds of them unread on work accounts. And um, my work inbox, um, I have my assistant go delete what's in it every few months uh, at the bottom. But it's probably got six to 10,000 messages in it I didn't get to. That drives me crazy. Um, 
But the point is, all of those messages are demanding my time and I'm not actually working on them because they're not urgent. And so, uh, I'm sorry, they're not important, but I feel an urgency like, oh, I should get back to that person. It's rude if I don't. Well, the point is, whatever your equivalent of email is, you have to get good at fighting it. And we all have that thing that sucks us in. So, four quadrants. We've talked about it a little bit. Um, we're going to talk about some about how to prioritize successfully. Zolkova, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Always appreciated. Most people here know, of course, that I uh, founded and run Twitch Prime along with my team. And uh, so uh, I love Twitch Prime subs. Um, and if you have questions, by the way, now is a good time to start asking them because we'll get to viewer questions after one or two more stories of how I struggle with this stuff. Because um, I want to share that you can be successful while not being very good at this. It just takes up a lot of your time. Uh, thank you. Um, is the Twitch Prime ironic here? Yes, it is. Um, but it's kind of thing on our channel as a result. <clears throat> okay. So uh, start putting in your questions. I'll get to those in a minute. Um, in the meantime... Uh, what else would I say about this? So you want to stay in the upper part of this diagram. You do the essential work and life stuff first. You then move to the deep work. And that's where you're supposed to be getting the value. In other words, if you did those things that are labeled there, rather than getting sucked into email, maintenance, interruptions, and distractions. I used to, I loved a book I found. I don't have it with me. It's packed up somewhere. It was a little like book of sayings. Uh, and the book of sayings, and it's from um, long before uh, modern internet, uh, when it was um, uh, when uh, it was old culture. One of the titles in it, one of the things it said is never confuse a memo with reality. But another thing it said was avoid meetings with time wasting morons. Um, and our lives, unfortunately, are full of time-wasting morons. Uh, all of us know them. We don't need to be mean. Moron is a mean word. But we all have people who are time vampires, if you prefer. <laughs> Duke of Thoughts says every meeting. Maybe. I don't think every meeting is awful. Um, but, uh, yeah, Leet Hephaestus says correctly, though, it's amazing how successful I can be despite doing so little sometimes. If you do the right things, you don't necessarily have to do a lot of things. And that comes from staying, after you handle the minimum in the upper left quadrant of this diagram, doing the stuff in the upper right quadrant. Because if you think about it, after you do your health upkeep, exercise, eating, sleeping, etc., if you're preparing and planning, you're educating yourself and doing lifelong learning, you're focusing on the value-added projects, and then you're keeping your relationships um, strong. You're focusing on uh, things that make long-term joyful memories and living your values. You'll probably succeed. If you get sucked into a lot of email, low-value, busy work, um, 